Every cup here is the best. They don't accept anything less. Their roasting, their service, their content, and the ambience and the art of the place itself. Locals have always loved Wandering Goat Coffee, but now even the Big Apple is taking note of their full-bodied flavor. Early this year, the New York Times gave kudos to their favorite coffee house. It just so happens that they were roasting Eugene's own. Well, a lot of people are just excited to have um, something in Eugene be, do that well, and you know, so it's just exciting for people to be a part of that. I don't know much about the New York City coffee scene. On it. I know we just try to do the best job we here. I mean, really, we're just trying to maintain the level of bean quality that come from the farms. Uh, you know, I think it starts there. Our primary thing is wholesale roasting, um, selling beans to other people. Um, like, that's the core of what we do. Um, we have about 35 wholesale accounts. Most of our stuff's in Eugene. We have a few things in Portland, some in Ashland. And then we do internet orders all over the country and world for that matter. We're pretty picky about who we work with wholesale wise because we're really concerned about making sure that the coffee is represented well and that we're selling coffee to people that are following precise standards for how to make the coffee. So we're hearing, getting a lot of internet orders out of Manhattan and Brooklyn now more than we were. Um, and then the New York Times thing definitely brought a lot of attention. Um, but sometime within the next year, we're opening um, a roasting facility in Nashville, Tennessee. We run the cafe in the same way that we run the roastery and the same way that we run our business. Only when it comes down to the art on the walls and the bands that play and the, you know, the music that we play when we're here working. Um, we think about, you know, what's the highest quality of this type of product or this kind of art or this, you know, genre of music. Um, and what is going to be the most sustainable for our company. I'm Madeline Lebowitz for Oregon News.